Golf, Royal Caribbean International. Voted best overall cruise line by travel agents eight years in a row. Cruises from Galveston starting at $79 per day. Visit RoyalCaribbean.com. Boy, did the troubles in Italy and Greece affect our markets this week. At one point, the Dow was down more than 400 points, but as what has become normal, it was up and down all last week. With us now, Carl Eggers, CEO of Eggers Capital Investment. And not really surprising, Carl, but uh, why is it that the overseas markets realistically have such a dramatic effect? I mean, even before our markets open, the, you can look online and the Dow will be down two, right. three hundred points. Right. <clears throat> There's a couple of things. Number one, sometimes the biggest rallies are in horrible markets. You can go back to 2008. And I think also, you'll have to pardon my voice, I've kind of got the Barry, not, <laughs> not Barry Davis, the Barry White going. But, uh, but really, if you look back to 2008, it's the contagion process. So if Greece has problems, it spills over to Italy. Italy has problems, it spills over to you know, Germany and France. And then what happens is it spills into our banks. And that's the problem. So the, the only solution is to cut back their spending dramatically. They have over leveraged. You know, we're talking through the break. <clears throat> they're paying pensions to people in their 40s in Greece. That's insane. There's more Porsches in Greece, I've heard, than people that are paying taxes. I mean, there's all these goofy statistics over there, but the bottom line is you got to cut spending. The problem is if you cut it too fast, it throws these people into a global recession quickly. So the only way out of this probably is for the ECB to go and print more money similar to what our Federal Reserve is but, doing. But then you get in the same problem that we're having here right <coughs> now as well. Right. So printing, printing more money it can't here's, be the answer either. It, well, here's the deal. Last month, I, I came on here and said that I think we're either in a recession or we're going to be in one very soon, and I still believe that. Yeah, we had a, we, I got to tell <coughs> you, we had an email from a guy that says, look, you know, he said we were in a recession. GDP rose like 2.9 percent last month. It's 2.5, which, yeah. which, which would be great if that still, was yeah, if Well, number one, you, you, you have to be leery of some of these numbers. If you dig deep within that number, you will find most of that spending was on utilities, food, and health care. The problem is that economy cannot grow on food, utilities, and health care, and, and it's you go ask your neighbor what they're spending their money on, that's it. They're not going out and buying all the things that they wanted to or did back in the early 2000s. So we need to, the spending needs to, needs to change, and it's not. So you're seeing this gap between what people have to spend their money on and what they want to spend their money on. So the, the GDP of 2.5% is something that is an illusion. If you look dig, dig deep within the numbers, you will see it's not the type of the good quality GDP. We, um, were, we were also talking over there on the set a while ago that, that uh, a lot of people in their, uh, just in their personal lives, in their personal handing of money, have gotten uh, <coughs> uh, to be big fans of guys like Dave Ramsey. Right. They just flat have cut that excessive spending off. Uh, it sounds fairly logical that that's what we need to do within our governments. That's what sure. Italy, uh, the European nations need to do within their governments, but it can't operate that way either. You can't just cut it off like that. That's right. Then you just pitch everything into recession. That's right, and, and you and I could cut our spending very quickly. With, with governments, you're talking about politics, and these people don't want to cut off, uh, you know, the hand that feeds them, essentially, which is they want to, we see it in our own country. We they want, want to, to save their jobs well, is what we, they're trying well, to do. Well, exactly. We send out unemployment checks, extend it, so forth, and if you cut that off, <clears throat> A, if you cut it off too quickly, your, your economy shrinks, but number two, if you cut it off, you get thrown out of, out of uh, office. And so it's unfortunate, but the thing that's going to have to happen is going to be a combination of cutting back spending in all these countries, and unfortunately, they are going to have to print more money and, and, and almost delay the inevitable and put a Band-Aid on this. In the meantime, you're seeing money flow into our country temporarily because our dollar looks like the best house in a bad sure. neighborhood. Italy, Greece, France, uh, a number of European nations have taken austerity measures. Right. But uh, you it's don't think enough. what they've done is, no. is not enough. No, it's symbolism. Surely those, sim those other European nations who are facing similar situations have to do that as well. Oh, they do. I was going to tell you real quick. <clears throat> in 1982, we changed you have the way to make it quick. They're we, giving me we, the rap. we changed the way our inflation was calculated. If you go back to pre-1982 calculations, our inflation rate's over 11 percent right now. Government reports it at 3 percent. So be very leery of some of the government numbers that come out. All right, Carl. Always good to hear from you, sure. my friend. For all the latest in business news, go to Ken's5.com. Click on the business link under news. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. You know that if you have auto insurance with another company and you switch to Fred Lowy Insurance, there's a discount for that? Well, there is. And that's just one of the many discounts you get at Fred Lowy Insurance. And that saves you money. Plus, at Fred Lowy Insurance, there's never a credit check.